Hello my friends and welcome to the Iron Wheel channel. I have another great episode of r slash bat logic just for you guys. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and like the video and share with all your friends. Enough said, let's get on with it. This one is not a post yet by somebody, but this new post has just come out for Cancer Research UK, who have been accused of being uh, fat phobic in the past, and it has three signs or well, three bits of packaging from cigarettes and it says obesity is a cause of cancer too so i'm gonna give it at least maybe a week before some of a certain size shall we say sees us and freaks out and starts calling cancer research uk fattest and you know fat phobic and all other junk which comes with it associated but in my mind there's nothing wrong with this it is telling them the truth because let's face it, we're all a bit big in the UK, because this is clearly done inside the UK. This is uh, one of our train stations, obviously. So guys, do you think this poster is going to cause a lot of fuss? Because I think it will. Like seriously, I feel bad when I see such photos. Do you know what I'll give to have a body you're saying is fat there? I feel mocked. Well, if you're saying that you would give anything to do it, you know, to get to that kind of body, then why don't you? It's all about talking, but when it comes to action, people are very, very quick to do nothing about it. So do yourself a favor, stop complaining that this person has, you know, said something about their own body, and do something about your body, and just move on. Guys, what do you think about this one? Do you think it's right for somebody to say, oh, I'll do anything to be like you? Apart from put down the fork, you don't get to decide what health looks like for other people. That is very, very true. You cannot diagnose every single element or someone's health just by looking at them. But sometimes you can, like for example, when someone has the flu and they have a runny nose, sore eyes, you can tell that they've got the flu. And you can also tell that with people who are a bit fat that because they're so fat they can't live their lives they're meant to be like when they can't fit through a door and they struggle to walk less than a mile you know that it's going to be weight related so why don't you guys stop trying to change the laws of physics and stop using logic for your own benefit just so it suits you so that you can change the new norm to suit you i'm sorry it's not normal get over yourselves and stop trying to change it because it's not normal all food is good food is it now really here's me thinking that kfc mcdonald's burger king and all those other fast food chains their food was really not healthy for me and i shouldn't eat it too often maybe as a treat maybe as 10 percent of the time throughout the year maybe only 10 percent no more than that, otherwise it's a bit like gutly and pretty much overindulging. Don't know about you guys, but that's how I feel about that one. How about you? Things you owe no one. One, toned and tanned legs. Two, a flat stomach. Three, a head devoid of grey hair. Four, a body devoid of hair. Five, flattering clothing. Six, the pursuit of health. Some of these topics, I actually agree that you do actually owe these, you don't owe any of these things. Um, like, for example, toned legs and tan legs, who cares really, as long as you're not going to have legs like tree trunks, you know, which are so big that they impede your walking. Flat stomach, no one's asking you to get a flat stomach. Um, a head devoid of grey hair, which is impossible because I actually haven't got any hair left, it's all gone bald, so I don't care anyway. Um, a body devoid of hair, sorry I'm not really into that. Flattering clothing, what, what does that even mean? Meaning that clothing which looks good on me or has to be some sort of brand? Who cares? Six, the pursuit of health, I do think everybody should be going for that. You owe everyone else to try to keep yourself healthy. That is the main one here for me. If you're not doing that, then you're going to be a burden onto other people. There's nothing wrong inside the future of having some sort of health condition as long as you tried everything inside your power to avoid it. But because you were, shall we say, when you're younger, didn't do that, that is when it's kind of a problem to me because because of your bad actions, someone else has to pay for it now. 
Well, my friends, we've come to the end of this episode of Fat Logic, and it's been a pleasure making this video for you guys as always. And if you did like the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and watch my other videos on some of my playlists. And I will see you guys next time.